YouTube, YouTube, it's Rico, man. I'm back with another video. Y'all see what we reacting to, man. We got that Clippers versus Denver Nuggets game three highlights. I wanted to react to game one and two, but I told y'all those days, Bay was using the laptop, so her school work and stuff come come in first. So other than that, though, man, we're gonna go ahead and get straight into the video. Um, great game yesterday by the Denver Nuggets and Clippers, man, and it had a whole lot of highlights, man. And y'all already know what's the main highlight from last night. It was that middle finger um, block by Kawhi on Jamal Murray. It was crazy, man. It was a lot of memes coming for that, too. But um, let me start this video record. All right, that started. And starting the video now. Oh, snap. Yeah, I'm old. Taylor's the alternate. Here go the Clippers right out of the blocks and trying to squeeze inside. George got to get skinny and gives it off to Norris. Good contact layup. In and Paul George really stepped up last night, too. Keep making up for how bad he played the first series. Aggressively, Jokic, mid-ranger, Zubac defending. Backing in Kawhi, finds the defense there. Stretch. George looking at three. Harris knocked it away, retrieved by George. 17-footer, good! Puts it in three on the shot clock. Trying to yeah, slip. definitely this series. It seemed like Paul George definitely found his rhythm now. Now he's starting to look like that Indiana Paul George, but just a little more better with the shot. But, um... Yeah, man, they definitely needed him to step up yesterday because I feel like yesterday if he ain't had a game he had, probably would have been a different get whole ball game just because Denver, they was still got a lot more pieces that I would say that's able to match up with the Clippers by far in the playoffs. But we already know that this is a collision course for the Clippers and Lakers to meet up in the conference finals. Now, both those teams really got two duos that can battle it out, but... The bench and other players around them just got to do their job to make sure that they are great supporting cast for those duos. So as long as those supporting cast show up for those duos, that um, series is going to be a good one. And um, it's going to be it's probably it's possibly going to be a seven game series. No cap. I ain't going to lie to y'all, but we're going to see, man. Um, but right now, both of those teams are in two series where it could be a win or a loss for them. So. And none of them got a real clear, clear shot to just get to the conference finals easily. So we're going to see how the rest of these two series play off. But back to this video. Doubled inside, throws it away, picked up by Millsap. Three on three, trailer is there, and that trailer is Murray for three. Good he pass, made some unbelievable pass. plays mm -hmm. on Kawhi Leonard. Here comes Leonard, triple, they put some green outside, three, good. Green definitely been a big piece for them this whole season, so shout out to him for stepping up. Can't do that. You can't you can't guard against that man. Once he in that mid range, it's over with. Three. Yeah, he working this game. He was working. Too big, man. I don't know how he got that to go, but man. Good drive. Good put back by Porter for sure. In the corner, Shamit, three, book it. Almost every team in this playoffs, man, the corner, the, I don't know what it is about the corner this year, but the corner, it seems like it's been a lot more players starting to use that corner shot, man. Everybody knows the corner is the smallest range for the three-point range for the, a person to shoot from. So it's more it's more like a mid-range almost, but, hey, man, everybody love that that corner, man, because that corner is it's, it's like the – a 80 20 percent chance that you make or miss that shot and 80 is going towards the make side so everybody definitely utilizing that this year in the playoffs and it's definitely working down there can't leave nobody open I don't know what the defense is doing on that one, but dude was wide, wide open. In the post. Good, good pass back. 
That's a lot of unselfishness right there. Tapped inside, Millsap on the run. On the wing, Monte Morris. Good fake by Murray. I was seeing a lot of people using that fake a lot more from the three-point range, and it be working half of the time too. Get assist, boy, all of you. And Porter had a good game yesterday for sure, man. Um, Denver can get him to produce the way he been producing this last game. It's gonna be a real, like I said, a real tough, hard fought series for Denver and Clippers, man. Because as long as the supporting cast is doing what they're supposed to do around their main two players, they definitely gonna battle it out, and it's gonna be hard to really see who really comes out on top of this series. But um, this game, people was probably expecting a blowout, but. Denver proved that they wasn't going to have that type of game from game one that they had. Uh, so the Clippers definitely got to work even harder this series, if anything. But um, we're going to see what's going on at the, at the next game, man. Because the next game is going to make or break the series for sure. Just because Clippers is up 2-1. So if they go up 3-1, then we pretty much know who's going to win the series. Michael Porter. Having that third score, and tonight it happens to be Porter. Down court it goes! With a hammer thrown done. down by Harris. With Murray the other way for Denver. Three seed, two seed Clippers, and the 15 footer is good. They got to pay Jamal that man. Murray. I already know he's going to get a right check. As soon as that current contract up, he's getting the check. Fell, that's a triple. Kawhi Leonard. Him he's and Nicola. I don't know grass. how they're going to split the Real money, but. But yeah, because Nikola, he played all around games, so it's going to be hard to see how they split that money between them two. I'm pretty sure Nikola probably ain't going to matter who get the most between who. Get tough, Leo. That looked like it was almost a block. Which they gave up in about three and a half minutes. Turn the basketball over four times, all by the Joker Jokic. Turn around, fade. The middle, Morris, Beverly, the pass to George, who has scored well, leans inside. Yeah, he definitely starting to look like that Indiana Jokic Paul George, just with a better shot. For sure. Shot will not go. Nice down court pass over the shoulder. Oh! The fast break. Looked like Vance Johnson down there. Harris will drive and fortify it. Jokic three, Zubats close. Count it. For a big man, got one of those smoothest shots ever. <laughs> There's those blow bys, straight line blow bys. Harris got the screen and sets up. Jokic another three. Card! And the way he go in, man, the, a stretch that can shoot like that is definitely valuable. Look at the help defense there by Jokic. Doesn't matter. George is on that kind of night. To... And they're sending the double team now. Little blitz in the grant over Shamit. The All right, man. I'm starting to see a lot of players use that turnaround fade. I mean, the turnaround fade is definitely supposed to be difficult to do, but I seen a lot more players being able to do it. So that lets me know that a lot of those players is really, really working on a uh, turnaround phase. Because, like I said, a turnaround fade is basically a fade away, but except you're doing a turnaround off your pivot and then fading away. So it's really difficult to do, but um. You got to be definitely practicing that shot to be hitting it the way you hitting it. But um, a lot of players, like I said, I've been seeing doing it. So that lets me know they've been in the lab, definitely working on the offensive game. And that's real good, man. Because that turnaround fade, it bails a lot of players out. Look at AD. AD, once he do a turnaround fade, it's almost guaranteed money. So a lot of players is definitely taking that and utilizing it really well. That is there. Hi, Jermichael Green out there with Harold. Here comes Shamit. Cross court. Lou Williams. Three. And he got the, it got the uh, little baby bounce. Whatever you want to call it. On the wing, Porter. Taking it home. Oh, oh, I seen this last night. Porter definitely going to be a bad dude in the future of his career, man. As long as he stay healthy, he going to have a great career as a small forward for sure, man. Because he got monies. He got a shot. He can basically do it all from the offense. But, um, yeah, man, Denver definitely going to have to keep this whole team together, man, because they really a young team. I think all of them is anywhere from 
20 to 24. I don't think they really got an old player except for Paul Millsap. Paul Millsap been in the league for a little minute. I forgot how old he is, actually. But he been around on a couple teams and stuff. But um, majority of the team is real young in their early 20s, not even in their prime yet. So Denver definitely got a future dynasty if they could continue to uh, grow and get better in the years to come, man. Because they could definitely win the chip in the next six or seven years or so, man. We just going to have to wait and see, though, because there's a lot of players right now from the 2010s and 2000s that's still playing. So we're going to have to see how that turned out because as long as those guys are in the in the league, they're still got their time pretty much. But this team pretty much got years to after those players to go. Well, except for a, a few 2010s players, but they definitely still got, got that uh, opportunity to be a dynasty in the future. And his dad in the crowd. I know he was liking that dunk. Good dunk. Too nice, man. Too nice. Oh, he was stripped of the ball by Beverly. The steal, the drive, great transitional play. I'd be a better protective of the little boy, especially against Beverly. Who is so terrific, drives into two and got it to go. Convert at the other end to create some separation. Bullseye. Three. Jeremy Grant, which will take it to a timeout. Denver definitely could have took this game yesterday, but it was just that defense finally got caught up to him at the end. And... And the Clippers was just hitting shot after shot. Clippers have numbers. Double double now. Tenth rebound for Kawhi. Corner three. Ring it up for Lou. And that's when they dangerous. Once they start feeling the rhythm, then it's like a wildfire. It catches on by everybody. Wide open top the key. The shot. See if this was Denver. Let's see if it holds up. Oh, nice pass inside. Subaka. Wow, what a pass one. by Kawhi Leonard. He's cold right now. Leonard around that Zubat screen. And pulls up the goal line. Got it. Mid-range is down there 90 out of 10 yards. for him to make. It was blocked. Two seconds to fire into Grant. Good. <laughs> what a play by Jamal Murray. You can see you win this third game. Good take. Who takes it. Knifing his way right through the defense for the deuce. And that's pretty much where it, it basically ended the game for them. But we're going to watch the rest of this real quick. Shot clock at nine. Murray takes it and tries to jam. I'm still trying to figure out, like, how do your middle finger not hurt, let alone a one finger anyways, to try to block a ball that's coming in basically with a full force of downward, um, whatever, what did you want to call that? downward gravity force or whatever the hell you want to call it but it's pretty much the ball going down at full speed because it's obviously about to be a dunk but i don't know how his middle finger ain't hurting like i said man because it looked like that ball was supposed to be in his shit all the way back or something crazy but good thing that didn't happen though fortunately but um yeah man i know that block was crazy for sure i ain't never seen no block like that block here it's like he's got a baseball glove on he blocked it with his middle finger. That is amazing. <laughs> he blocked it with his middle finger. Who's got a mismatch down low on Harris with the spin and a foul. They have hit the gas at the right time. Not pretty much. Not pretty much. And pretty much they out the game at that point. Down by six. Denver's got to start hitting some shots. Ooh, good take. And he in for two. With a quick trap, and he gets it off to Leonard, and a foul on Harris. Yep, next game, definitely going to be something crazy, game. man. That next game is, like I said, going to make or break the series for who's definitely going to be the winner because if Denver win, I mean, if Clippers win next game, then Denver pretty much going to lose the series because it's not really a lot of teams that's coming back from down 3-1, so... It is what it is, though, but like I said, we're going to see based off the next game who going to really be the winner of the series, man, because, yeah. But other than that, though, man, if you guys enjoyed this video, then leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys later on with more videos. Peace.